you're welcome in this tutorial i want to show you how to create a custom domain based email address so instead of reaching when you are reaching out to your client or potential client instead of using your generic emails like gmail outlook ymail yahoo mail and all that so instead you'll be using a custom professional domain based email address that would make you look professional to your audience to your potential clients all right all right so the first thing you do is you come to uh, namecheap.com namecheap.com so if you have an account with mailchimp so you create an you you buy a domain name in mailchimp all right so you can just type your domain name right here so domain name can be my name wali so let's say walirighter.com something like that or dot net you know so dot com, com means company dot net means network dot org means organization and so on and so forth since you are a business owner so you can make it a dot com domain so then you search for it right here if it's available you buy it so once you've bought it so you can just like log in all right so once you log in like this so a verification code will be sent to you so and then let me go and uh, confirm the verification codes in order to continue with it so once you log into your account successfully so the next thing you do is you come to domain list so inside your domain list you pick the one that you want to use for your business so let for this for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to use this how to start a blog online.net okay okay let's just come here domain domain list <coughs> excuse me so and then you can just click on manage let's click on this to refresh so excuse me so the one you want to use you click on manage so after clicking on manage so it will bring you right here all right so you scroll down let me take this one here so as you can see you come to redirect email now under redirect email you see that there is an alias right here so let's say you are having a gmail account your name at gmail.com so that's your name is what this alias means you understand or your company name at gmail.com so now instead of it having at gmail.com you are trying to redirect the email to your domain name the one you just bought so meaning if i have just bought wali at uh, walirighter.com so i want you to create a business uh, email that would start with walila at walirighter.com so that is more professional i've already created um a custom domain email as you can see walila you know and i want it to redirect to this email address okay so so what will we do now so we can add another folder let's see this one now is info you know and i want it to redirect to afp all right so i'll just click on save save changes the visitor agency at gmail aha uh -huh, gmail.com so i just click on save changes all right so and i took it to change so now what this means what i just did right here is that i have created an email a custom email with info at at this at how to start a blog online.net all right and anytime anybody send me an email to that mail it will come to this it will be redirected to this all right so and this one that i've created to so anytime anybody sends me an email 
to Wali Lads, how to start a blog online dot net, it will redirect to this. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is how to receive, meaning that when they send you an email to so that's your professional email, you will receive it in your Gmail. Now, it could be Gmail, this could be Gmail, this could be Outlook, this could be Ymail and all that. All right. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to save ourselves the cost of you know creating a, a a paid email you know a private email so because we can just like buy it here you know and it it will be to be awesome all right so moving forward the next thing we'll do now is to come to G, uh, gmail all right so let me log into this Gmail. All right. Okay, so I think what what I should do is I should because I already logged in already right here. So now for you to now we have created a tutorial. I've showed you the uh, how to create a custom domain email address. Now, with that email address, you can receive email. Meaning that if anybody should send you an email on that email, if anybody should send you an email, you will receive it, you know, inside. So this is an example of that email that I have sent, as you can see. So I it was sent to this, All right? So I use this email to send it, and I send it to this, and I receive it inside this email. Now I want to be able to send email as well using Wally that uh, that domain.com. So the thing you do is come to settings right here, you come to see all settings. Okay. Come to see all settings. So then you come to in account and import. Under account and import, you had another email address. Okay. So the name would be the name you want them to see. So the address, the email address will be your email address. All right. Which is in this case Waliola at how to start a blog site dot net. All right, so that's the email address. Meaning when you send an email to anyone so they are going to so the next thing you do is you you click on treat as an alias so click as an alias so you click on next step so now under this smtp server so you will put smtp.gmail.com that is what you are going to put there so your username since i am i want to use this um this gmail i'm logged into this gmail i want to use this gmail so for this so i'm going to use this all right so Okay, so the password, the same password of that Gmail is what you are going to use. So, and this is where most people have problem. So, um, well, whatever problem you encountered here, so it's going to work out if you follow my uh my the way i'm showing it to you right now so i'm going to give you some links so that you can click on so to resolve this now if you find authentication authentication field please check your username and password okay so what you will do is you make your account less secure so because gmail they are trying to protect you. They thought you don't know what you're doing. So you need to let them know that you know what you're doing. And we are going to like go ahead and show them that we know what we're doing. So I'm going to show you the next thing you need to do right now. 
So what you are going to do right now is to come here. So these links, I'm going to leave them in the comment section below. So we're going to click on this link, visit this link. All right. So once it loads, um, and this other link too, this one. So if this is off, you have to put it on. Allow less secure apps on. Because as you can see, so it's saying that please check your username and password and let secure apps access for that username. Because uh, um, Google is trying to protect you. He think you don't know what you're doing and uh, you're about to make a mistake, something like that. So once you have done this and you have, you know, like, switch it on so the second link so click on continue like that all right so then you come back to um, you come back to the account right here and input the password Okay, so until it's um, it's successful, right? So just click on Add Account. So as you can see, it's successful now. So you just save it. So I can save this password, right? Or I can just leave it. So we now I confirm verification and add your email address. Congratulations, we successfully located your other server and verified your credentials. Just one more step. An email with the confirmation code was sent to this. All right. To add your email address, do one of the following. Click on the link in the confirmation email. So you can open the email to click on the link and then verify it. So meaning that henceforth I'll be able to send email to this using this. All right. That we just created together or oh, I can just enter and verify the confirmation code right here so let's go and check ordinarily I hope you remember that I've, I'm able to receive email now in this right so because I have redirected it to this Gmail so let's now go to inbox the email should be right there as you can see I've already like so as you can see so you are required to add to your Gmail account. Confirmation code is this. So we just copy this confirmation code. And then come right here and put the confirmation code here. And then click on verify. OK, let's just. OK, we can just like click on the link. Please confirm sending us confirm. Confirmation has been successful. So, so I can just close the window now. It has been successful. So let's say I want to compose an email now. So as you can see, you just have to click this arrow facing down. So as you can see, it has already been registered there. So I can send my email, it will show my name and it will show this custom email address while you learn how to start a blog online, how to start the blog site.net. So I can send, I can send it with that. So let me just send it to, um, so if I send an email now, so I should receive it. Okay. Um, let me pause this and show you open another email. So I'm not going to send, as you can see, using Walula at how to start a blog on site.net. So obviously this how to start a blog site.net is going to be your own, um, your own, um, it's going to be your own domain name. And this one is going to be your first name, right? So I'm going to send the email now to another Gmail using that and see if I receive the email. So let's just send the email.
So as you can see, uh, this is sent emails and I've sent the email, right? So let's see if I receive the email. As you can see, I've received the email. So <clears throat> that is how to go about creating your custom based domain email address, send and receive emails with it. If you encounter any problem at all, so I'm going to um, leave this uh, in the description box below for you to you know be able to follow the step by step guide. All right. So that's it. Uh, if you gain anything from this video, so uh, please leave a comment below saying that oh I gain value. So Walila, I gain value. So please leave it in the comment section below. So you can say I can now open my custom based email email address myself, right? And then subscribe to my channel for more of amazing video and tutorials like this. Have a great day and thank you very much once again.